there's great language in Padilla. If you haven't read Padilla, read Padilla because there's, there's great language at, that at the end where they're imploring defense attorneys, look, now that you're required to do this, go the extra step and figure out creative plea deals to avoid deportation consequences. If all you have to do is read um, the warning in the plea questionnaire, uh, you're not even getting to the issue of trying to figure out some creative plea deal to avoid deportation altogether. So the title of this, um, of this CLE is, you know, going beyond Padilla. Um, why go beyond P Padilla? Well, I mean, you're all here, and, I, and so I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the choir, but I don't think any of us would market ourselves to say, look, I'm the lawyer that does the bare minimum. Because that's really what Padilla, that's what Padilla represents. That's all, Padilla basically says, this is your bare minimum under the Sixth Amendment. Um, unfortunately, the court, I think, in Shada has um, defined that bare minimum to be uh, pretty low. Um, but, but that's all it is, it's the bare minimum. And, uh, you know, we've all, um, you know, built our practices on hard work by going way beyond the minimum. And the amount of um, uh, misconceptions, bad advice, and just mistake of law and fact that we run across d talking with prosecutors and our colleagues, uh, uh, you know, are, are extensive. It, you know, prosecutors will tell us, look, it's a misdemeanor. He's not going to be deported or he, he won't suffer immigration consequences uh, because it's a misdemeanor. That's only for felonies. Um, crimes of moral turpitude, uh, you know, uh, don't involve these types of cases. I mean, there's just a wide range of, 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 of bad advice one can receive in that regard. And so negotiation becomes everything. And we, we handle a case, I guess I would say, entirely differently from the front end of a case when we have a non-citizen client because the range of options is so reduced for us, in our opinion, with regard to what a client can come out of on the back end and still remain in this country. Because for that client, we can't say, you know, this case is going to be over. Even if you get a jail sentence and a probation sentence, at some point you're going to be living in Wauwatosa and, and you can resume your life. We just can't say that to those mm -hmm. clients.